pick a water hammer today. Um, the idea is I'm going to blow out the bottom of this bottle by whacking on the top with a mallet. Um, the general idea is, you can see I've got the water filled up to about the top of the label. Um, I'm going to hold the bottle pretty loosely, but not so loose I drop it, and hit the top with this hammer. And when that happens, of course the hammer has momentum that's going to transfer to the bottle. The bottle's going to move down, you expect that, but the water inside, because an object at rest tends to stay at rest, is going to want to just hang out right where it is. So essentially the bottle moves out from underneath the water. And of course now you have a gap here between the, bottle, between the bottom of the water and the bottom of the bottle. That's a vacuum, so there's zero pressure in there. But up here you have atmospheric pressure pushing all over the top of the surface of the water. Um, pressure is force over area, so with a larger area, atmospheric pressure is constant, so you're going to have a pretty large force. Um, force equals mass times acceleration. So with a pretty small mass of water in here, you're going to get a pretty large acceleration. And it's that acceleration of the water that's going to exert a large force in the bottom of the bottle and blow out the bottom. So here I have an empty bottle, no water, and we're going to hit this with the mallet to show you I really can't blow out the bottom of it without any water. So now we're going to try with our water hammer. If you hear that clanking, that's the start of the water hammer. That's the water hitting the bottom of the bottle. And if I just hit it hard enough. I can make a water hammer. <laughs>